Hi, welcome. I'm Craig from Wonderlust and Dewitt & Co. And I'm doing this video in conjunction with Tucana Teardrop Campers made by Stonegate Industries. To be clear, they're not paying me to do this. I'm doing this out of love of the campers. I've taken it upon myself to do this for you. And in doing so, I've actually learnt quite a lot about it myself. So here we go. We're going to delve right in and talk about what this controller does and how it works. So let's talk in depth about the solar controller. This is a PWM controller, pulsed width modulation. It's a standard kind of controller you'll find in all the, most of the uh, caravans. Now, just going over some of the things you're looking at here. Obviously you have your display screen. You have a menu button and you have a set button. Here you have some terminals where things go into and it's got the little symbol there. So the first one here shows you the solar, solar array. The second two are for your battery bank. And then the third two showing a light here is for any load that you might want to put on these terminals just there. In addition to your 12 volt power supply going through your normal terminals from the batteries, you can attach onto these two any type of source within limits of current, of course. So these two here on the end are also attached the same as the five volt USB plugs here. Also, you'll notice there is a terminal here at the end for a temperature sensor. That is not attached in this camper. Let's now go through what the screen display shows us. First thing to note is that when you turn, when you hit this menu button, it will scroll through different settings related to the photovolactic or the solar panel cells, the battery condition and the load. The set button here is really simply an on and off button for the USB connectors as well as for this load that you put on here. As an example, if you see now how it's got the solar array providing energy to the battery and battery is now providing energy to that light, that light is actually represented with these two USB connectors or this light bulb down here. When I press this set button, you can now notice that it no longer has an arrow leading to that light. That means it's off. And this is now on. Also note, whenever you touch either of these two buttons, the screen lights up so it's clearer to see. Let's now go through the different settings. As Soon as you touch this button at any given time, and I'll do it now, it will scroll through the different relative things with regards to photoelectric cells, one, two, and three, battery, one, two, and three, load, one, two, and three. Back to photoelectric cells. So let's now have a chat what this is all about. Photovolactic cells, 20 volts. That means 20 volts is coming in from the cells. It's going to the solar controller, being regulated, and then being sent to the battery. Next one, 2.5 amps. That's how much current is being generated going into the batteries from the solar array. 
next one, 14 kilowatts. That's the total amount of power that's being generated. In other words, volts times amps. Next one, battery, 13.8 volts. That's telling you the state of the battery with the current going in and you may have load going out as well. So it's not giving you the actual charge complete of the battery, it's just giving you an indication. Please note that if your battery is very close to the top or topped up, that there is a pretty clear indicator showing you what general status your battery is in. So right now, my battery is in a good state. I've got plenty of sunshine and I've just recently come off having the camper charged up through the battery bank. The next one in the battery is this, the 25 degrees Celsius. What that is telling you is if you had a temperature sensor connected here, it would actually give you your temperature of your battery. In our case, it's not doing that because we don't have anything connected. And because of that, it has a default setting of 25 degrees Celsius. What that means for the controller is the controller is giving all the parameters needed to charge the battery bank based on the fact that it thinks the batteries are sitting at 25 degrees Celsius. That is okay for here in Australia because we don't have a huge change in temperatures. So it's unlikely that you're going to have extreme temperatures or even overheat the battery bank. If you wanted to be pedantic, you could probably attach a sensor. I don't think it's worthwhile. Load. This is now telling us the load that we have coming out of just these two terminals or the USB. It's not related to the load for the rest of the camper. Of course, if it was load, you have load with the fridge if you have it attached. If you've got lights on or fans operating, that would be the load for that. But this load here indicated on the screen is not related to any of those. It's just related to anything you would have attached here and those two ports there, USB ports. Same with the kilowatts related to that load. Now here, this is a setting 117 and the 2N are settings. Those codes actually mean disabled. In other words, you are not doing any additional um, changes to how the pulse width modulation are occurring. You can adjust that to be more effective. Again, these are just set to default, which means that the code 117 and the code 2N mean both parameters are disabled. As mentioned in a previous video, but I'll remind you again, if at any time your solar controller is not keeping up and your batteries drop down past 11.4 volts, the solar controller will no longer charge those batteries and you need to get an external charger through the 240 volt system to get the battery float above 11.4, say 11.5 and above, and then this will work again. So if you happen to be out camping and you've drained the batteries down to that, they're not gonna come back up. So remember that. There's also a little symbol up here in the corner that shows a sunlight screen. Basically, that's telling you the type of day that's happening. So you'll see that at nighttime, it turns into a half moon. And that means obviously the solar controller is not charging at all. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this series. Or by all means subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with new series that we put out. See you around. Next bit.